chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I'm going to show you how to prepare chestnuts in two different ways. Welcome back. Today, we are making some nuts. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> chestnuts, that is. We're making chestnuts. All right, just in time for the holidays, go ahead and get your chestnut cutter if you have one. If not, use a knife. But in any case, be very, very careful when you're cutting these things. If you have a cutting glove, go ahead and use a cutting glove to cut your chestnuts. Cut very, very slowly, very carefully. You don't want to cut yourself. You don't want to end up going to the hospital and getting stitches on Christmas Day. All right. Go ahead and cut your chestnuts because this gives them room to pop and it makes it easier to peel. After you cut them all, go ahead and soak them for about two hours. Now when you cut them, it's just like a little cut down the middle like you saw me do. Okay, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing fancy, just that simple. Now we have a pot. We're gonna cook these on medium low heat because we don't wanna burn them. Medium low heat, you wanna put them on there and we're gonna cover them with a lid. Cook for about 10 minutes. Now keep them light them because you don't wanna burn them because they're over direct heat if you have the kind of pot that I'm using. All right, so like I said, you're gonna cover these and cook them for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, some of them are cooked already. If you if you have the same thing, go ahead and remove those with a pair of tongs and just finish up cooking the rest because they're just so nice and they, they smell so good. And they're nice and toasty. <laughs> and they're easy. This, this skin comes off so easily after you cook them, after you soak them and cook them. Just, just look at those things. And they taste and smell amazing. Your kitchen's gonna smell like Christmas. All right, go ahead and get your cereal ingredients all ready. Got the oats, the run, the, the, the oats, the raw sunflower seeds, cinnamon, all the good stuff. Go ahead and mix them up. And then get your wet ingredients and mix those in there as well. This is gonna be sticky. So you're gonna have sticky hands when you're all, when it's all said and done, but go ahead and lay it flat on your cooking tray with some parchment paper. And you wanna bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now watch this, you don't wanna burn the oats, okay? So don't go ahead, don't don't go sing Christmas carols or wrap gifts. Keep an eye on your, your food while you're cooking it. All right, so you, you can go ahead and break this up into big pieces or small pieces, whatever size you like for your granola cereal. Just remember, this is your world, I'm only cooking in it. I added some dried cranberries, no sugar added. And then the star of our show, the roasted chestnuts, I cut them up and I added them as well. Then we have Lily's salted caramel bar. We cut that up into chocolate chunks and we have our cereal all ready to go. Wait, but wait, it's missing something. What am I missing? Oh, he needs no. some milk. He needs some milk for that cereal. Don't forget. All right, now we're gonna make some roasted chestnut butter. Now be patient with this because if you don't have a sharp blade, it's gonna take a while. For this recipe, you can use this kind of butter, you can use any any uh, butter you like, peanut butter, or any uh, any kind of nut butter, seed butter you like uh, to make these cookies. Just remember, they are gluten free, no flour in them. So, and your gluten your gluten free friends and family will, will thank you if you make this for them because it's delicious. I use turbinado sugar because it helps with the texture, just makes the texture very very good. And of course, this recipe is based on. The one from Clean and Delicious. It's a very good recipe. I've been using it for years. I just changed it up to, to make it match the Christmas time. All right, go ahead and bake cookies for about 12 minutes until they're golden brown. There you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have more content coming for you in the future. Happy holidays.